Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Today we're going to be exploring Yenaka Ginza, which is an old shopping street located in a traditional temple district in Tokyo. This is actually one of the only areas of Tokyo that was completely unaffected by the air raids during World War II. So most of the buildings here are completely preserved as they were pre war. So it's a great taste of history. This area was also really famous for street cats back in the day. There used to be so many street cats that nowadays the unofficial mascot of the area is the Maneki Neko or the Lucky Beckoning Cat, which is often used as a good luck charm for businesses. So you can find a lot of those on this street.、Um, there's a lot of amazing street food here as well and great handicrafts, so I can't wait to find、um, what amazing little trinkets we can discover here. Let's go check it out! このお店っていうものを売ってるんですか？いろんなものをね、お家が狭くなってほら昔から持ってた人がいるでしょ？こういうものね。はいはい。今度狭いうち行くんで、ね、それで出して、そんな感じでもうなんか足しになればっていう感
Their little paws are actually beckoning for good fortune to come to you. And they're especially popular for business owners, for good luck in business. I've just found another wonderful little street stand. They are selling daifuku, which are soft mochi filled with usually sweet red bean paste. Today I've decided to try the summer recommendation, which is the mascot grape daifuku, as well as the Japanese kyoho grape, which is a really giant seedless grape. My frozen mikan has thawed a little bit, so I'm gonna give this a try. Let's take a look. Ooh. <gasps> it looks so juicy and delicious. Yum, look at it, the nice, nice and icy on the inside. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Like shockingly, very surprisingly good. It tastes like a, like an ice candy, like an ice bar. Mm. It really just quenched my thirst right now. It's so hot outside. The inside is still nice and like crunchy because of the ice, so it really tastes like you're eating ice cream or shaved ice. Super recommend this. Great summer treat. So I'm gonna try my daifuku now. It's the grape daifuku, which is very uncommon. I've never actually seen this before. So let's give this a try. Ooh, it's very soft, as expected, pillowy to the touch. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Even the daifuku itself actually has a little bit of a grape flavor to it. Normally the mochi is kind of unflavored, um, but it seems like the red bean paste and the mochi itself both have grape flavor to it. So this is a very unique taste. So this is another type of grape. This is called the kyoho grape, which is basically a giant purple grape. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is a juicy grape. It's so refreshing for summer. I very much recommend these fruit daifukus. These were so good. I think this is a great place for traditional Japanese sweets. And I love these ones that always have a little bit of a fresh twist to them. I hear that there's a famous little sweet shop. As you can see, this shop is focused on the maneki neko or the good fortune cat. They're kind of like a taiyaki, which is a traditional Japanese dessert that usually looks like a fish with red bean paste on the inside. Uh, they've got matcha red bean, as well as a double custard, nice, sandwich, which looks really delicious. I think I wanna give that a try. Yes, I need anything to cool down right now. So I'll get one of those, maybe something savory. All right, I've got my snacks for, for today. This one is piping hot. This is the pizza one. Let's take a look at this. It smells so cheesy. It smells like a pizza straight out of the oven. Oh, this one's so cute too. And you can see some whipped cream melting out of the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna give the pizza one a try first. It's still nice and hot. I'm gonna dig in. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It is kind of like a hot pocket. Some delicious tomato sauce in there and a lot of cheese. Um, let me take another bite here. Oh, mm hmm. Hmm. There's a sausage in there. I wasn't expecting it. I knew there was like a little something firm in there. I had no idea what it was. There's sausage. This is the cream and red bean paste. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Mmm, very creamy and great sweetness from the red bean paste as well. This was not ice cream. I imagine it was just a very cold whipped cream, which is very refreshing. It tastes a lot like, um, there are some traditional style breads in Japan that are like cream, whipped cream, and red bean paste. It tastes almost exactly like that filling wise, but it's nice and cold. And the outside is a little bit a little bit doughy and soft, so I love the, the exterior dough as well. Super yummy. I 
I just got my food, waited in line a little bit, but it seems to be very popular, so I'm quite excited. Um, let's see what I got. I got this one I'm very interested in trying. It's called lenkon in Japanese, which is actually a lotus root in English. It's a very unique vegetable that actually naturally comes with these holes on the inside. And this one is called a hasami age, which means that they've actually sandwiched some meat in between the two lenkon root slices. Okay, let's give this a try. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, I also got some fried potatoes, which are nori shio flavor, which is nori is a type of dried seaweed. Um, so it's nori seaweed as well as salt. And this is actually a very popular um, potato chip flavor in Japan. So I think this is gonna be quite delicious. Let's give this a try too. Here we go. Mmm, it's also very nice. The flavor is not as strong as I was expecting. It's not that salty at all. It kind of tastes like roasted potatoes, like oven roasted potatoes. And lastly, the korokke. This particular one is called a yasai korokke, which is a vegetable croquette. Um, it's probably still meat based, but it probably has a lot of vegetables mixed in. I'm gonna give it a try. Here we go. Mmm. Fluffy potatoes on the inside. A lot of croquettes in Japan are minced meat based, but this is definitely a potato croquette. And there's little bits of carrots. Not only were these delicious, they were also incredibly cheap. All of these combined were only 194 yen, which is like less than $2. And this is the kind of shop that's characteristic of these shitamachi old school downtown districts. Um, you can usually find really cheap, fresh street food. So if you like street food, definitely recommend it. All right, you guys, this is called Yuyake Dandan, which means sunset steps in English. And on a clear day, you can u apparently you can see the sunset in the distance here. Today we didn't get to see it unfortunately, but the view is very beautiful. You can see the whole street from here and at night it gets beautifully lit up like this. Well, Yanaka Ginza was a great time for me today. It was the first visit that I've ever made here and I'd love to come back. It's filled with amazing little cafes, delicious food for very good prices and the people are very friendly. Um, as one lady we talked to earlier mentioned, they were hit really hard for the coronavirus. Um, so a lot of businesses actually shut down. So if you guys ever have a chance, please come and visit here the next time you can come to Japan. They would really appreciate the support. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me in today's video. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in a next video. Bye everyone!